Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to another tutorial video. I've got a very interesting one for you guys. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a pair of scissors. Yes, a pair of scissors. Something I would have never thought to make out of balloons. Somebody challenged me to make it, so here we go. What you're going to need is, I prefer orange because that's the classic scissor color, and silver for the blade. So go ahead and hold on to that silver. We're going to start with the orange. Blow it up about halfway. We're not going to use the whole thing. Oh, in case I forgot to mention, these are 160s. Scissors are pretty small. If you want to make one of those big thing of scissors, just scale this up. Use uh, 260s or even 350s if you want to make like big scissors for like an opening ceremony type of thing. That would be cool. I should try that. All right, we got the 160. Blow it up about halfway. Put a squeeze and a stretch. We're going to start off with a double pinch twist. There you go, wrap that around. And now we're gonna make the loop for our thumb. So you want it big enough that your thumb will fit comfortably in, and that's how you know it's the right size. Twist it off, twist it into that. And that's just gonna be a little bit round. Um, we can mess with the exact shape of it later. But now we need to go forward about three, four inches, give or take. Depends on if you got big hands or small hands. Um, Honestly, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but we're gonna do another double pinch twist. So there we go, one inch each, and roll that through, and come back to this side. So we got the top part, and you get the bottom part. So the bottom part, you're gonna go out about the same length as this, and just see if your hand, your fingers fit comfortable in there. This is gonna wrap around back in here. You want a little bit of an arch on on the second part. Wrap that in. Now you can pin, twist it there or you could just leave it as a loop. Either way, that's fine. Um, whatever you're comfortable with. There we go, that's about right. That fits nice and comfortably. We don't need the rest of this. I am going to hang on to it just for now. I'm going to twist it in so it doesn't come undone though. Alright, let's get the silver. Just twist it off. You don't need much, so you're going to go out about six inches. Um, obviously, if you're going to make a bigger scissor, scale it up. Twist that in. Another six inches on the other side. You want it to be nice and straight. Give yourself some extra room and break it off. Tie it off. At this point, I'm going to get rid of the orange. Break that off and tie it off. At that point, your silver should deflate, so you need to grab the other, grab that silver and blow up another one. Don't worry, it happens. So we're gonna reinflate it, which is hard. All right, we only need the six inches, so tie that off, measure it out, twist it, twist it in here. There we go, break it off again. Here we go. Tie that, twist it in, and try to tuck it in there so it's out of the way. All right, let's get everything positioned. Um, there we go. You want pinch twists on either side of the blade. You want to make sure that the blades are straight as much as possible. Um, this should be going up and then a little bit out. Just a little bit. A little bit of form. There you go. You got a pair of scissors. You are ready to uh, cut some fabric. All right. Hope you guys like it. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And go ahead and check out the playlist. We should have a playlist uh, right here. So go ahead and click on that if you want to check out some more tutorials. And I'll see you guys next week.